Okay, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Esposito, 6th grade science, Route Chandler Middle School, and... Mr. Goff, 6th grade math, Route Chandler Middle School. School. Tell them what, what happened today. What did you do in your class? You know what? In class today, we finished up a test in oh, math 6, okay? So everyone finished. I'm going to be grading those over the weekend. In fact, I have one, gr one class graded so far. Ooh, People are doing pretty good on this test, test, okay? Angles, angle measurements, supplementary, complementary, all those kinds of things. On the test, people were doing great, okay? That's mm. math 6. Math 7... Uh, what did we do? Oh, we talked about um, probability. probability, experimental probability, and theoretical probability. Theoretical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Theoretical probability is what should happen. You know, it's the theory. It's what if I flip a coin uh, five times, how many times should I get heads? Or actually, let's make it six times. Oh, that's If I right. flip a coin six times, how many times should I get heads? Mm -hmm. Well, three out of six. You know, that would be what you would expect. The experimental probability is what actually happens. So if you flip a coin six times and you land on heads only once, well, it's one out of six. Oh. That's your experimental problem because oh. you did it that's one time. So that's what we talked about in Mass 7. Now ma next week, Mass 7, we're going to finish up our chapter. We're going to go right into a test because we really only have five subjects here, or five um, sections of the chapter that we're talking about right now. Okay? So it's all about probability. Um, next week, you'll have a test probably starting on Thursday to Friday, okay? as we usually do. Mass 6, we're just going to continue in chapter right now. Okay? Big news, though, coming up after science. Tell us. Big news, ladies and moms and dads. What happened in Mr. Esposito study class today? Today, we had a test. We had a test on air masses, on fronts, on storms, oh. on pressure systems. It looked so far like we had a lot of good grades. A lot of students did well. However, Next week is going to build on this week, and it's going to get even more complicated. We're going to get into station models. We're going to get into isobars. We're going to get into isotherms. We're going to get a little bit more into pressure systems, and we're going to get a little bit more into the symbols. And once we get into the symbols, it's like learning Chinese. It's like learning a foreign language. You say, wow, what is all this? It's hard is what it is. It's yeah. very hard. So hopefully next week we'll bring that same attitude into... The next week's lesson plan, and we can transition right into it. We'll do well. Hopefully, this is hard material. It might take us a little long, longer than a week, maybe a week and a half. And if it does, it's, it's perfectly fine. It's worth it, okay? Because it takes time. Okay? Tell them, what was the good news? Oh, well, it's not good news. It's big news. Big, big news. news. I think I said big news, right? The big news is it's going to get cold, rainy, and windy this weekend. Oh, uh, cold. Be a little no, cold today. like 50. Eh, 50s, 40s in the, at night, oh. maybe even down to the 30s. Hey, maybe okay. we can do this. I'll buy a log. We can put it on the fire. We'll invite you, we'll invite you guys over and make you march uh, on Golden Pond. Hey, that sounds good. Roast some marshmallows. Roast some marshmallows, that yeah, that sounds nice. Golden Pond and roast some marshmallows. I'll right. bring my fiance. you have your wife there. Excellent. Uh, and we'll roast marshmallows. That's yeah. how we'll yeah. we'll roast them. Marshmallows. Put them on the end of the fishing pole. All right. That'll be nice. That's good. All That's right, nice. two thumbs up. Everything's thumbs up, great. Everybody. We'll see you next week. Myrtle Beach is coming. We're going to have a good time. We'll fill you in. Two thumbs up. Yep.